you've got an idea. You're sick of women feeling not skinny enough, not smart enough, not enough. You want to change that. To create a place where women can come online to connect and share. You have no degree, no business plan, no clue about tech. You just start. At home, alone, well, sort of, you start writing and writing and writing. It connects. You work harder than you have ever worked in your life. 18 hours a day, seven days a week. A community starts to form. You feel exhilaration. This is working. Is this working? You explain your idea and get told women's media is an interesting niche. Niche? You get pregnant again. You're writing and posting in the middle of the night when the baby wakes up. You eat cereal in the shower to save time. It's dinner. Your husband joins you as co-founder and you tell him he's wrong about everything. He's not. You sell your first sponsored post. Maybe this is gonna work. You move out of the kitchen, scale up, kind of, relaunch. You hire your first staff member, a Mamma Mia reader who becomes your right hand. You double down, you keep looking forward. You forget to pick up your kid from school more than once. You feel like the worst mother in the world. Women tell you they feel seen and heard and understood. You laugh together, cry together, vent and cheer and share. Good changes are happening. You refuse to use paparazzi photos because you don't want to support an industry that stalks and harasses women. You have a panic attack that lasts for 11 days. You're diagnosed with anxiety. You learn how to manage it. You hire more staff, move to a bigger office. Everyone brings their dogs to work and sometimes their kids. You put your sparkle on and get shit done. Your content connects with millions. You make mistakes publicly. You're mortified. You listen, you learn, you apologize, you keep going. You feel in your gut that you need to start making podcasts. You're told it's a dumb idea. You do it anyway. You tidy the office for a very special visitor. You get lots of visitors. You outgrow your office and move again. You look around at the incredible women and a few men and you beam. They are kind, passionate and bloody funny. You laugh when a box of sex toys is stolen before it can be reviewed. The culprit is never found. You think of other ways you can help support women. So you create courses and a community to help them launch and grow their own businesses. The Mamma Mia community starts funding 150 girls going to school every day. You marvel at how self-sufficient your own kids are. You appreciate that they can drive you places now and make you tea. You love them fiercely. You wonder if you've arrived yet. You wonder when you'll feel like you've made it. You feel proud and grateful. And even though it's fucking hard, you wouldn't have it any other way. So if you have an idea, feel the self-doubt, the imposter syndrome, the fear. Every woman does. And just start.